So do you have VAs that are already have done real estate stuff like this before? How does it work? That's what you, we find is we go out and we find source somebody who's got experience in that area, depending on what your particular criteria are. If you really want to hone in on, hey, I need somebody really in the expenses or I need somebody who's going to be handling contracts, several things. Where are they coming from mostly or what? So we source them out of the Philippines. Yeah. So they're going to be English speaking, very experienced. So these are specialists in their particular field. We're not going to hire somebody who's never done dealt with a real estate investor before. Are these people like really skilled people? Highly educated, technical, technology-wise, experience, service-oriented, right? They're very service-oriented folks, mm-hmm. which is why like on cruise ships and stuff like that, there's a lot of Filipinos that work mm-hmm. there. Mm-hmm. But that's just part of the culture, which mm-hmm. is really conducive to doing follow-ups, being tech-savvy to do all the stuff that needs to be done that way, but then also having the care and concern to make sure that the follow-ups are done Are they younger people that you get, older folks that you get, or how does that work? So typically in that 20 to 30 range is quite often where we're hiring out of, Mm -hmm. but it can be in the 30 to 40 range too. Sure. Somebody who's very experienced in the executive assistant world, that's somebody that we would, you could get into a situation where you got somebody with 10 years experience as an executive assistant. You're going to pay more for that, but you got a higher level of qualification. Pay more, but not as much. As you would pay here. Oh, it's not even close. I was doing some research. You'll spend $60,000 for somebody who's highly experienced. Oh, yeah, executive executive assistant. assistant. (laughs) Yeah, for sure. Yeah, and it's, no, you're looking at maybe twenty grand a year to find somebody with the same level of of experience there. Sure. It might be a little bit more, but it's going to be in that range. It's going to be a lot less. Still going to be minus less than half. That's. I would say a third. Yeah. Yeah, a third or less. Yeah, and money makes sense. It's a business, right? So you're trying to save yeah. money where you can, but you also want to have good people. At the end of the day, if you can find what you really need, mm-hmm. right, it doesn't matter where they are in the country yeah. or in the world, yeah. as long as they can speak English. But again, meeting your criteria that you need, why not save yeah. 50%, 60%, 70%? 70%. Yeah. Why not? It doesn't make sense not to. No, because we're sense competing sense. on a world stage now right. when it comes to remote working. And people right. who haven't caught up to that yet, they're going to learn the hard way. Uh, 